this is Karen with Grace Bee Creations. How are you? Happy Thursday. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week so far. I am doing a video tonight and I am proud of myself because it's only 620. Yes, you guys, it's only 620. I'm doing a video early and I'm excited. I redid my um my little backdrop here how do you like it look at the flowers and the pretties and um got like a little bit of white lace going on here with a little bit of wood background and although when i'm working on a project i need to put a piece of paper down so i don't ruin all the pretty stuff so today i'm doing a video it's kind of um on a whim i was doing something i was working on something you no know, watching something on tv and i pulled this piece of fabric that i love and i started making an envelope out of it <laughs> and i'm like oh my goodness what am i doing i'm like oh wait a minute what am i doing i am making an envelope out of fabric how cool is that so i started playing with it more and i ended up going over and i started stitching it and i loved how it looked and so I'm like, I showed my friend, Jen. I said, look what I just made. I said, I didn't even plan this. I was just playing with some fabric. And I went over and I stitched it on my sewing machine. You can also glue it. Don't worry for those who are hearing the word sewing. You're like, oh gosh, I'm sewing. I can't do it. But you can also glue as well. I tested it out for you guys. So that I could make sure I have all my girls covered. Everybody can do the project. Um, but I was just playing around with fabric and I just started going with it and I came out with this beautiful little piece. And the fun part is, is that when you open it, it looks like it has a piece of paper inside, but that's the extra fabric. If you look in my videos in my library, you'll see that I've done a video making paper envelopes. It's almost the same exact thing, except we're going to use fabric. It's a little bit different. It's a little more complicated because, you know, the material is different and paper is easy to work with, but it's still a lot of fun. I made this one and then I went and did a testing on it with glue and I made this pretty one. And these are so adorable in a junk journal. I tested it out. You can do anything with it. You can use it and sew it into the book. You can use a little bit of glue on each side and place it on a page and do a flip up. You can do many things with this. So I'm going to show you how to do a fabric envelope. And like I said, it's almost the same exact way as doing a paper one. Um, I'm going to actually stitch mine, but you can glue it as well. Um, I'm going to show you that you can do both. Let me grab a piece of paper so I won't ruin the pretties. And hold on one second. Got to grab my little piece of paper here so I can just lie this down so I don't ruin any of my pretties. Um, so yes, I, I think you guys are going to love this tutorial. Um, I love it when I can come up with an idea without even planning it. I was going to do a video. Um, I had an idea of what I wanted to do tonight, but when I saw this, I'm like, oh, I think everybody's going to love this. But I was a little bit worried about it at first because it, it does look better if you stitch it. I will admit it's going to look a lot better when you stitch it, but you can also glue it as well. While we have stitching in the conversation, I'm going to ask you guys to, um, in the comments below, let me know who here doesn't like to use a sewing machine or you do like, or you do use a sewing machine. Let me know who doesn't know how. Um, too scared to use one. It feels intimidating. Um, you don't have one, so you don't you'd like to do it but you don't have a sewing machine if you can let me know in the comments below 
if you would like for me to do a tutorial video on how to use a Singer. Um, I have a Singer sewing machine. And honestly, I got a brother one, a brother sewing machine before too. It's pretty much the same idea on how to um, thread it and it's so easy. They have a beginner's Singer out there that I got when I first started my sewing. Um, and it's one of those things where I was intimidated to start using a sewing machine about a year or so ago. And once I got it, my home ec from seventh grade home ec just started kicking right back in. I couldn't believe how easy it is to sew. And you can do so many great projects for junk journaling with sewing. So let me know in the comments if you have one, if you don't have one, or you would like to have one but you're too afraid to try it because you're intimidated and if you do have one you don't know how to use it leave a comment and let me know if you'd like for me to do a tutorial video on how to thread a machine and to use it because I would love to offer that to my um, subscribers because when I'm doing a project that does require sewing I always try to do an alternate for you for those who don't sew, I try and do an alternate so that everybody can be a part of it. So I always do glue, but sometimes a project might look a little bit better using sewing, and I would like for all of you to have that chance. So, but regardless, even if you don't want to sew, I will always have an alternative for you. Um, I will never do a project that just requires sewing because I know that some people just don't like to, and that's okay. I will have an alternative for you, no matter what, and that's what I like to offer on my channel, so. All right, let's get going with this project because I cannot wait to show you how cool and how fun this is. I'm gonna start with a regular piece of fabric, and I'm, I like to double up on it. If your fabric is really thin, you might wanna double up. You're gonna go eight by eight. That's the size of this envelope right here. An even square, eight by eight. You're gonna cut your fabric at that size, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're going to go corner to corner like this, okay? And then you're gonna take the top part. If you're doubled up, take both, leave this one down you're gonna bring it down, not all the way, just so that the point is going just underneath. You don't want it to go over. You want it to just lie right there. Okay, for the people who are gluing, I'm gonna go ahead and still show you the gluing, but I'm also gonna sew mine as well. I'm gonna put a little dot just to hold that in place for now. Okay, and then what you're gonna do for the glue pe for the people who are gluing, you're just going to put some glue right there, but you don't want to go all the way down to the bottom because we need that for tucking. Okay? And then you're going to do the same on the other side. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press down on that. So now we have some glue on both sides and we have a little glue dot that's just holding that that front down because this is the part that's gonna be our piece of paper. This is the part that looks like a piece of paper inside the envelope, okay? Now, you're gonna take both sides and you're going to fold it in like a burrito. Let me trim this, hold on. There's a little piece of thread that is throwing me off. Hold on. All right, you're gonna fold this in. Now, when doing this, you wanna pay attention to here because when you fold it, you don't wanna overdo it. You don't wanna underdo it. You wanna fold it just so that the these part here that are folding meets the corner of the inside paper. Um, fabric, <laughs> it's supposed to look like paper. <laughs> so you wanna go, you wanna overlap, but you don't wanna to overlap too much. You want it to look just like a, 
a square so that here's a good test before you glue or before you sew you want this to be able to come down and go over both sides you don't want to see this part open see how I have a little part open right there so I'm going to go back and I'm going to bring that in just a little bit more okay you want it to be like a nice envelope now see that's perfect I have both sides even so that when I come down it covers both okay so for the gluers what you're gonna do you're gonna hold on to that part that you're holding like that you're going to glue this part right here okay right underneath that's gonna create your your envelope and then you're gonna glue underneath here I was gonna tuck it in but for the gluers it's a little harder to do the tuck in because you need to glue it down you don't need a lot and the and the and the glue that's gonna work best for this project is is beacon um, let me see this is the one I'm using three in one you can get Fabri-Tac as well Fabri-Fix any of those will work by beacon or any fabric glue that you have at home you, you don't want to use regular glue because, you know, you're putting a little bulk of your fabric together or you really want it to glue down, okay? So, now you have glued this part on the bottom. You want to make sure it's good and glued down because this is going to be your pocket for the envelope right here. You don't want it to be a hole, okay? And then you're going to glue down this part. Now, I'm going to go off camera for a second, and I'm going to go stitch. Okay, so um, I want to show the, the, the people who do sewing, I want to show you how it looks when you stitch it um, using a really cute decorative stitch. So I'm going to be right back, and I will show you what it looks like. Okay, I am back. I cannot wait to get a camera over over near my sewing machine because I would love to show you all the technique and everything and when I do the tutorial for the sewing if you guys want me to I will pre-set up my camera over um, over near my sewing machine so that I can show you guys the stitching part of it I hate having to stop the camera and you know, I want to include all of you in the process of what I'm doing. So um, now that I'm monetized for my channel and I'm starting to see um, some money coming into the channel, which is really cool. It's not much at all. Um, that is all going to go towards a second camera for different angles um, of my work when I'm doing sewing and it's really exciting so YouTube added all these cool little perks to my channels like um, the thanks button there's like a thanks button on my channel so if you hit the thumbs up you can also do a thanks to anybody who wants to like donate towards the channel to add more things to the channel and stuff like that although I do not expect it <laughs> Not at all. I'm doing this because I love it. But anything that I do bring in for the channel, I'm putting towards back into the channel to make it even better. So that's uh, my next thing I'm doing is getting a camera above the sewing machine so that I can show you guys some stitching techniques and um, or I can bring the camera other places like embossing and bring it over to the embossing machine or the, the Cricut machine. So Hopefully that's in the work soon. Anyway, so I went over and stitched this and look at how, look at how nice that looks. Oh, I love it, I love it. Okay, so now we have an envelope. How cute is this, right? How cute is this? Look at that. Look at how nice that's gonna look in a journal. You can put like little ephemera pieces in there and so cute. Now we're gonna decorate it. Okay, I'm gonna add, I wanna add lace on the edges on the top. And so because this is white, I'm not gonna go with a white lace. I'm gonna go with um, a beige. I'm gonna do this beige lace right here, this little ruffle. 
Now, I always feel like doing lace on the edge of a of a pointy part is a little challenging because you want to make sure that you line it up just right. Um, but this lace actually looks like it works really well with that, so it shouldn't be too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim that up. And I'm going to glue. So next you're going to take any piece of lace that you want to use on your top. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to line the side. Oh, I trimmed it a little bit too long. That's okay. It's better to take away than having to add, right? I always say that when I don't cut enough off. I'm like, well, it's better than having to be short. This is always the tricky part for me. I like to make sure it's nice and straight on the rectangle. All right, I'll trim that in a minute. I'm gonna do the other side first. Um, these sleeves that I'm wearing have these strings I should have changed because it's driving me crazy. It's it's dragging everything off my desk and onto the floor. I'm like, where'd that piece of lace go? Oh, my shirt just kidnapped it. Hold on, just like the other piece of lace that I just had. Oh, here it is. I'm sorry, shirt didn't do it. <laughs> it's a cute top, but these little things keep on coming off. I have to keep on tying them. Okay. Next, oops, next we're gonna do the other side. Now, when putting the lace up on the corner, you wanna make sure you overlap it. And you always want the rounded part of the lace to be on top so that it looks like a little rounded, I'll show you when we turn it, you want the rounded part to be on the top. Depending on the kind of lace that you're using, you may not have a rounded part, but You can always trim it to look like it's rounded. And I'll show you what I'm talking about once I glue it. Okay, so like when I turn it around, you want, see how it's kind of rounded on the top? You want to overlap it so it looks like a nice, good, pointy envelope. And it's not overlapping it with lace going on to the other side. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so now I'm gonna trim. I'm gonna come along to the side and just trim it up like this, straight up. Straight down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue any little parts I didn't get. So now, when you shut it, look at how adorable this is. And you can also put lace on the top too if you want. But where I'm gonna be putting the junk journal in like this, it might not need it. I don't think it needs lace on top as well. I think that would be a little too much. What you can do, you can put pearls on top. If you wanna add something, you can always grab some of these cute little pearls here and you can just line along the top there just so that you have something lining that lace so it doesn't look like you don't have anything on top. It's kind of like a rough edge along the side because the lace is underneath. This kind of helps hide that rough edge so that it looks like it's just lace and pearl. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the pearl. And this is a mini pearl. I got these from Esme Shop. Crafty Me. It was in one of the boxes I bought. Um, sales I got, I mean. Like that. It 
it's dainty, it's, it hides that rough edge around the back, and it looks like the lace is now a part of, and not just on the back side of. And you can also do the same on the inside and put pearls there too. I believe I did that, yeah. Now I didn't do it on the front here because I liked that little ripped look to the fabric. But with this one, it was more of a rough edge. So adding that pearl really makes it look really cute. Now, because I add the pearl on, where am I gonna put the button, right? So, you can add the button like right in between like that. I think that would look really good. I'm gonna go ahead and use that one. Well, that was, out of all those buttons, I picked out the right one the first time. Wow, that never happens. Oh my goodness, I think I like this one better than the first one I made. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I am in love. And you can go crazy if you want. You want to add more pearls. This one actually is longer. I didn't add. I should have added a little bit more pearl to that. Maybe I could trim it up the same. That actually looks weird. It's not even. There we go. So you can actually add more pearl on the inside there, or you want to add something to kind of separate the pocket from the paper, faux, faux paper. Um, you can do that as well. You can do like this so you can kind of see the difference. You see what I mean? Or if you don't want to use pearl, you can do like um, a simple lace depending on the color of your fabric. This is white, so it's really not gonna show up that much, so that wouldn't work for me. I think I would just go ahead and add another thing of pearl, but I like it this way. I don't think I'm gonna add anything else. I don't think. Let me just double check. You know me, I always change my mind. Oh, this would look cute. See what I mean? That would actually look really good. Hold on, let me just, let me see for a moment. I don't, it's a little more pink than, I don't think it matches. Hold on, I have another color. I have white. Would the white be too white? Yeah, it's not worth it. Let me see. If you have some of these, you can use these as well. These little vines here, you can add a little. But I'm just going to keep it as is. I actually like the look of this. I think it looks dainty. I think it looks really pretty. Look at that. Look at the pocket. I want to grab a piece of paper really quick just to show you what it would look like to have a little journal card in here. Let me grab a journal card from my last project. Remember these? Look at that. You can just make a little, you can do a cute little journal card in there. Just tuck it in there. Did I make one for the other one? You can take like, well that's a little bit too big. Like say if you wanted to just grab a little Polaroid. I'm stealing from another project for a moment. Put like a little paper clip on there. Just kind of stuff it in the pocket. Look at how darling. Right? Or, or, if you want your thing to show, you can pick something shorter and just add a little paper clip on the faux paper. Right? Like say, um, hold on, let me just rip this in half. Is that short enough? I think that's short enough. Like, see this paper clip? You can just paper clip it right on, like this. And that's like the faux paper for the envelope. 
Isn't that cute? So you can use the front or the back. Both work. You can even add a paper clip. You can add the paper on the back end, put a paper clip on the front so it looks like it's holding the faux paper and the paper and the real paper. Look at how cute that is. You can even put some uh, Velcro on there on the both sides so that you can have a little Velcro action. Isn't that cute? I actually like this one in here. I'm stealing this. I actually like the look of that. I'm actually going to add, I don't want to put the rusted paper clip on the, on the fabric because I noticed it's already showing a little rust on that, but I'm going to put it here like that. I'm going to put these back in this project. I remember making these. These were so cool. I love them. I want to make sure I'm not mixing up projects here. Um, oh, I just love how that came out. I'm going to add a little piece. Hold on, that doesn't shut very well, does it? No, that shuts. Okay, I'm going to add a little piece of... Hold on. My trusty little Velcro. I have these big Velcros and I have tiny ones. And I'm thinking... I'm going to do the small one because I think it will work on the lace. Sometimes I'll take two small ones and put them down. Um, the small ones sometimes peel off in twos. Like see how it, two of them came off? You probably can't see it. It's not focusing. Um, where you see? Yeah. So I'm going to just put that on the very tip of the lace. I'm doing that backwards. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to add that, and I'm going to put the other part just to add a little stick to it in case you want to close it. Ah! I always do it this way. What I'll do with the Velcro is I'll put the Velcro lightly down right on top of it, and then I'll bring the sticky part down to see where it meets, and then it should lift up fine from there. Should is the word. Yep, there you go. It's so much easier than trying to figure out where it's going to land. So now you have like a little Velcro piece on there so that it stays closed. I really over, I did not do these beads right. I didn't compensate for it closing. When you do the beads on the V, make sure you only go up to there, unless you want to go all the way back, but it was going around the part that actually folded over. But there you have it. This is so cute. Look at that. I am in love. I love these little fabric envelopes. They are darling. I'm just so... I am so happy with how this came out. This, this ephemera piece here is a little bit too long. I'm just going to go ahead and trim it. I just want it to show a little off the top. It's not folding right, so let me just do that. That's better. Oh my goodness, I love that one. <laughs> I think I like that one more than the first one I made. So that is how you do a fabric envelope. That's it. So remember, these are the measurements. 8x8 eight eight piece of fabric. If your fabric is thin, make sure you double up on it. If you want to glue it together, you can do that too. Um, I put together a lace piece here. Where am I for time? I'm only 29 minutes. Let me see if I can do this last one really quick. 
I got together, a, um, here's a great example. Lace is very thin, right? So I glued two pieces together. I already measured it out, eight by eight. So all you're gonna do, quickly I'm gonna show you. You're gonna fold it up, to corner to corner. Bring this down, just, just below the line, okay? You're gonna glue a little dot, just to hold it. And then for those who glue, add a little glue onto the side. Okay, you don't have to overdo it because your main glue is gonna be the part that you do between here and the folded pieces, okay? Make sure when you fold your pocket part down that it's straight, that it goes straight across because that's the part that's going to show inside your envelope, okay? So make sure it goes straight across. Now you're going to fold it like a burrito. Remember to watch your lines. Make sure that it's not overlapping too much, but it's not too under either. And for those who sew, you can take this and tuck it into the to the pocket of this one, but like, like here's an example. See how it's kind of open right here? You can tuck it right in. So that the point doesn't show. Before you glue, before you stitch, most important part, make sure to, to test it out. Like, see, I went over, see how those corners are popping out? That means I didn't bring it in enough. So I'm not going to do the tuck in. I'm actually going to do the overlapping. Sometimes tucking it in, you don't get it good and snug enough. So it all depends on your fabric. So now it's still a little short, but you know what? This is lace, and that might be why it's doing that. Lace is not forgiving when it comes to folding. And I don't want to make the pocket too small. So my pocket, I might have to, you know what, when I stitch that, it's going to go down. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stitch. I'm going to run off camera really quick. <clears throat> I'm going to go stitch this so I can show you that when you're, when you're using lace, this part's going to actually be, it's not going to pop out the sides. Okay, so I'm going to be right back in a moment. Okay, I am back. I went and stitched the lace. Okay, there it is, right there. And see, that's the part you guys who use glue are gonna glue right underneath there, okay? But this is the lace. I went and stitched it here, here, and there. And that pushed these corners down. So now when I go and fold over, see it's nice and flat. So the sewing part will help with that. Okay, so now I'm going to add some lace. I'm going to trim my stitches first. I always forget to do that. Okay, um, what lace will I use? This is white, so I don't have any more of that other trim. I think I'm out of that. So, let me see. Do I have another? Well, that's white. That won't show. That won't show. Sorry, I didn't plan to do this other one, so I didn't take the lace out for it. Hold on. I really wish I had more of that edge one that I just used, because I have to get more of that. It's I forgot where I got it though. Maybe pink. What about pink? That matches the stitch. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure when I trim, I have my corner up on the top. Remember what I said about the corner, about the rounded edge? 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue. I already can tell I'm gonna love this one because you know me and lace. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this one anyways. Get a head start. I love this color. Let me see, okay. I'm trying to see if this is gonna be a little tricky because this one's a little bit different. This style of... Okay, I'm trimming it right at the, right at the rounded edge. See, this one might be a little bit trickier. See how it's got like a part right there that doesn't look like it fits? So you kind of have to play with the lace right here. Okay. There we go. That should work. Try not to. Okay, I'm gonna trim it. Hold on. Like this. Ah. I love the sound of a old fashioned lawnmower outside. It reminds me of summertime as a child. I'm not talking about those fancy ones that that um, that mow the lawn today, you know, all the fancy schmancy ones that you sit on and ride. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about those those push um, those push lawnmowers. The sound of it, I don't know, just hearing that outside just brought back my childhood of summertime. And just hearing a lawnmower in the morning and like, I don't know, I, I'm weird, I know. Okay, I just had a moment, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so look at how cute that pink lace is, right? I'm not crazy about how that looks on the edge, so I might trim it up a little tiny bit more. It's just the way that it lays. Um, it's gonna be a little bit sharper. I might be able to like just round edge it a little bit. I'm not super happy with how that looks, but it's okay, the pink looks cute. And I think I'm gonna edge at the top with the pearls. Okay. I can hear the lawnmower right now, it's funny. I was driving to my appointment yesterday morning, guys, and there were kids standing outside with their brand new first day of school clothes on, and I was like, are you kidding me? Is it really the first day of school already? Our kids start school down here well, my kids aren't. My kids are adults now. But um, the kids down here in Georgia, they start on the 1st of August. Now, I could not get used to that when we moved down here 16 years ago. Because I'm from New England, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, where... We got out of school the second week of June, and we did not go back until the day after Labor Day. And that was summer. That was summer. Today, a lot of schools are now doing shorter summers, but giving more vacations. Like, here in Georgia, kids will start school the 1st of August, but they have their first break in September. The end of September, they already have a week vacation. And then they have um, 
their week off for Thanksgiving, and then they have two weeks off for Christmas, and then they get a January vacation, then they have April vacation. So they have a lot of breaks. But still, I remember the days as a child, and I'm sure a lot of you watching this will remember, school, vacation, summertime was second week of September, I mean second week of June, you're out, everybody's screaming, yelling, yay, it's summertime, I'll see you guys in a few months, you know, and you didn't see your friends unless you hung out with them until Labor Day, the day after Labor Day in September, when the trees start turning colors up in New England. You know, you were literally out the whole summer, and you had summer memories, and you did things, and you went places, and today it's like, okay, we're out at the end of May, and we're back at August 1st. I just, I could never get used to it when I moved down here. I, when my kids were in school, when we moved down here, I'm like, this isn't, this isn't summer. All right, so that is beautiful pink lace. Look at that, look at that. I'm gonna add a little button. Let's see if I'll get lucky with finding That's too big to go up there in the corner. She's too big. I have a little, a little pink one. I can do that. Ooh, that's cute. I might have to trim the back though. These little rivets. I need one of those like button remover things. Oh, I don't think that's gonna come off. All right, it's all right, I'm gonna glue it down. So this is how you make fabric and lace envelopes. I really hope that you guys liked this. I didn't expect to make this for a video tonight, but sometimes it's those videos that actually come out the best. The unexpected, right? There you go, four fabric, one lace, envelope. This one's a little smaller, which I like. It's cute. Look at how cute that is. And look at the front. Isn't that adorable? I'm in love with this one. All right, guys. Well, that's today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a comment below. Make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers. We're going we're gonna to do another giveaway. For 2,000 subscribers, um, I plan to do a video, I think, t Friday? Tomorrow is Friday. Um, tomorrow and Saturday, I believe. And um, that's it. So just leave your comments below. If you have any questions at all, let me know about the sewing tutorial. And I will let you guys know in the next video what everybody thought. All right. Well, I hope you guys have a great evening. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.